Hey, welcome back to Exit 45 Restorations. Uh, so I've got a, I've got a whole different kind of thing going on coming up here in August, where I've got to uh, take my daughter. Uh, we're both going to be making a uh, trip to. Uh, we're going to go to Oregon. She's uh, she's going to go work on her doctorate up there at Oregon State. So she's going to pack her car up. I'm going to fill as much as I can and get in my truck and. We are, well, I'm going to drive literally from coast to coast. I'm going to be leaving from Savannah and ending up at the Pacific by the end of the trip. Yeah, that's, that's a long drive in my old truck. Yep, this is what I'm doing it in right here. So, I know, it's crazy. 350,000 miles. Uh, so, this should be an interesting trip. Hopefully, the old girl holds up. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. I'm going to pull it around to the shop. And I've done a lot of, I've already gone through and I've got all new shocks on it. Uh, the engine itself is sound. I don't have any oil leaks. I don't have any anything. The oil pressure is good. Uh, doesn't burn oil so the old girl's in really good shape uh, I just went through the transmission everything's good there I got that running really good so let's uh, pull up to the shop we're gonna go ahead and finish out some of the some of the things that need to be done you know radiator flush plugs wires all those things I need to get a, a USB port uh, rigged up in there because I'm not making that trip without being able to charge some things that I'm gonna need and when I am done getting this thing ready and doing the final getting her car ready, uh, I'm going to bring you guys along. I ain't going to make it a, a big, long deal, but I'll, I'll bring you in on some of the highlights, all right? All right, let's get this thing pulled around to the shop. All right, so let's, uh, let's see what we got here. I got the air box off. And, uh, boy, I tell you, it's been a long time since I've been in here, so let's see what we got. Ooh. Okay, I would say a new filter's in order. <laughs> All right, so new filters on the list of things that I need to do. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start on the radiator. Let's go ahead and get it, uh, let's get it drained and see if we can't maybe get this thing flushed and uh, refilled, so let's start there. Okay, so I got the Bottom one disconnected there, upper hose pulled off there, and uh, I've got the fan shroud loose. Well, I got it tightened down a little bit right now. I got the belt off, and I got the bolt off of the alternator, and I'm going to get this bolt here, and I'm going to pull the alternator. It's, uh, it's pretty old, and that's a long trip, so I'm going to go ahead and just put a new one on there. So that's coming off. Then I can get to this a little bit easier and get that top radiator hose off. And then I'll go underneath and get that bottom one disconnected. And uh, we should be moving along pretty good on the radiator then. I got a new belt that's going to go on. Uh, so, yep. Let's just keep pressing on. I'm going to just take that bolt. We'll get that off of there. Status update. So we've got the uh, alternators out. And I got both... Uh, both radiator hoses off. They fought me a little bit, but we got them. Okay, so let's just keep pulling things off since we're just making it more and more open and make it, uh, you know, just should hopefully get a little bit easier. And we'll, we'll just go reverse order. So um, let's see, what's next? I guess I gotta reach way back up underneath there to get to the uh, rotor cap and all that and wires and I guess I can start working on the plugs wires and rotor cap and all that it's not gonna be fun way back there ah, that's not gonna be fun alrighty alrighty alright I'll do it don't worry I'll do it just Give me a second, I gotta psych myself up. Well, I'm working on the 
spark plug wires, rotor, and cap. And you can see what I'm having to do. I'm having to lay up top because uh, you can see the uh, old one right here. And the new one's way down back down in there, up underneath the, uh, the cow. And I just, you know, I can climb into the uh, engine bay, but then the, I can't get up underneath, I can't see up underneath the cow. So this is the only way I, I can do it is to get up here and lay a board up here and just go Superman on it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm about halfway done. I got the uh, new rotor distributor in and secured and I'm just doing wire by wire right now. This is how you have to do it. Unless you're like really, really tall and got long arms. Otherwise, this is how you do it. Ow! Ow! Ah. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, passenger side bank done. Hey. Okay. You got them. Okay, so all the wires are routed, rotor cap and all that's on and so now I'm gonna go along and start working the spark plugs but I can't be on the video for too long guys boss man's here so I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to get back to work he's uh, I'm falling behind schedule I guess dang it all right let me get I gotta get going before I get in trouble okay I got this side all swapped out, so the sparks are done on that side. We got all right. So there you go. You can see this is what came out. Not terrible. All right. So I left the the fun side for last. So let me get that. Well, we're starting to wrap up this fun party. So all the radiator hoses are on. You can see I got the one down here. Nope. Of course, spark plugs, we talked about that. Um, so I really, the only thing I got left to do is I got to run down and get me another alternator, air filter, uh, and uh, I need an oil filter so I can do an oil change. And then it's a matter of cranking it up, get some, get some more uh, fluids in, and then drive it around for a while before I make the trip. Anyway, so uh, that's where we're at. I'm gonna put this down for today. Uh, I'm tired, been a long day, it's hot. You know, you guys are feeling it too, I'm sure. Okay, it's morning and we're back out here and we're ready to get going. Uh, I got the air filter, got a new one in there, got that back on. Uh, I went ahead and hit the engine with a little bit of degreaser and got it cleaned up good. Uh, that's about as good as, you know, an engine with 350,000 miles will look. But, uh, but then you got this right here. Got the new one in, so we're going to go ahead and put that on right now, and then, uh, I can start this thing then. All right, so, uh, I guess one more thing I want to try and get done on, uh, this truck before I make this trip is I'd really like to get... Uh, a way of charging my phone and, and stuff uh, because this truck I uh, you know doesn't have a heater so I tried plugging in a portable heater and it burnt up the wires just wasn't strong enough <laughs> um, so I'm gonna see if I can't uh, repair that and uh, and then put a uh, uh, charging port in here that I bought so let me show you what I got going okay so here's what I got so I got this, it's the, uh, you know, standard El Cheapo from China, but it's, uh, it's a two, two place port. And what I think I'm going to do, as you can see here, I am going to use that opening there to put it. So I'll have to ream that out a little bit, make it a little bit bigger, but I got to get access to the wire. So I'm going to, right now I'm going to pop the screws out of this panel here. And see if I can't get back in there to those wires. There, now you can see it a little bit better. Okay, four screws, parts hanging. This, this here is a, a light that's uh, on the back side. Now, 
looks like I have some access to the wires here possibly those are the wires I'll, I'll check that and then I I should be able to hook this up pretty simply I hope okay so here's where we're at uh, right here let's was these together it was plugged into here I just pulled that off and this is the one here that goes up into this spot so I'm getting ready to run the wires to make sure that the wires are good they look to be in good shape so that's a positive positive one for me so I got the voltmeter here and I am going to uh, I'm going to see if I got 12 volts. All right, so let me do that. There you go. All right, so I'm going to turn the power on. And there you go. I got 12 volts. So now all I got to do is tap onto that and reset it into that hole. I'm good to go. This turned out a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Or maybe I shouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Okay, you can see here, got them spliced and sealed. Uh, I think we're good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the uh, meter to them again just to make sure I still have my 12 volt. And if I do, I'll, I'll fish the wires up out there and we're ready to wrap this project up. Well, I know it's still a big mess, but I wanted to show you. I'll bring this all up here so we can see it better and I'm gonna get rid of this so it's not blinding us all right now for an example I haven't put this in the truck yet but it's all hooked up I got my phone connected to it so let's turn everything on and then we should get this to light up and this to show it's being charged There we go, and there we go. Well, how about that, guys? I have the ability to charge my phone on this ridiculous coast-to-coast-to-coast -to -coast -to -coast trip that I'm going to take with this 2000 Dodge Ram 1500. Well, there you have it, guys. Finish installed, all done, and I can move on to the uh, AC. Okay, so just a few more things that I uh, want to get done before I make the big trip. And one of them is <clears throat> the AC compressor. Every time you turn it on, sounds like marbles in there. So that ain't making the trip. So, got a new one. And uh, so I need to get the belt off. Uh... Get my electrical connecting. It should be just a handful of bolts right at the top, and it should just come right off. Should. We'll see. All right, belt's off. All right, so I got the... The bolts out, the brackets out. So let me uh, disconnect the electrical, pull this thing out of here. Okay. All right, we're going to yank it out of here now. <laughs> all right see all that play oh yeah there's where your marbles come from yeah sounds terrible all right okay nothing fancy just a placement but it's new. Okay, so get you in. Let's see. I got the 
new one in. We'll push that on here in a second. But looks like we're lining up. So let me button this thing up. We'll get the, hopefully the electrical's the same. I think so, but we'll, we'll check it out. Yep, all right. All right, well there you have it. It's installed, belt's back on. I just gotta finish up the uh, couple pieces of electrical. And uh, that'll be it, and I gotta work on the charging. So, that didn't take long. Very nice, all right. All right, so, I headed down to my local auto zone to pick up a uh, rental AC manifold. Got it all hooked up, I'm uh, vacuuming it down right now. We'll uh, let that go for a little bit and then we'll shut her down and see if she holds. But she's got her down right now, but the vacuum's on, so. All right, let's give it, a, let's give it about 20 or so minutes and then uh, we'll shut her down and see what it does. Hey guys, so I, I just finished charging it and everything went really well. Took the charge just, uh, you know, about as good as I could expect and uh, blows really cold. So now uh, I got to test it out. So, you know, I'll probably drive it for, you know, I got, I got a few weeks before I make the trip. So I'll probably drive this quite a bit. Uh, test all this stuff out, everything that I've been doing, just to be sure everything's working good. I don't have any real issues, uh, but the AC looks to be done and cold. So about to head through the desert twice. So I need it working. Anyway, uh, so the next thing is, is we got to stop this thing from steering like a boat. Um, so I got to replace all the tie rods um, and the idler arm is also very worn. So uh so that's gonna be the next thing so let's get on to that and see if we can't get all that swapped out and then we're gonna be ready for this trip kind of i still got a few things to do on my daughter's car make sure hers is ready but uh we're taking some some cars across the <laughs> across this country that are old and so i'm hoping this is not a big disaster but we'll see <laughs> all right okay so got this uh side ready to come out uh, I got my pickle fork in Let's see if I can't bust that one loose and then we'll knock this one here loose and uh, Then we'll go ahead and set the other one up the exact same distance and uh, Put it back in so hopefully it goes hopefully it goes that smooth Okay, there we are So uh, Came out really easy. This thing is super worn Nothing nothing left on it. That's good. It's just garbage uh, except for my adjuster here. So let me get the new parts and then we're going to get this thing. Uh, we're going to measure from this point to this point, And then when we put the new one together, we'll make them exact. So I don't have to worry about my alignment. All right. All right. There we go. So I got it busted down. This one's terrible. <laughs> I'm a bad truck parent, <laughs> man. Okay. There it is. Let's go get it in and uh, we'll have this side, the driver's side done. All right. Hey guys, you know me in my favorite place, under the car. All right. Let's get this in. side and there you go okay I'm gonna recheck my measurement make sure I got exactly what I'm supposed to have and then I'll start tightening this all down Okay, so my distance is exactly what I wanted. So I can go ahead and tighten up this right here now. Let's 
gosh. All right, let's see if we can knock these off. There goes one. And let's get the other one. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> All right, we got that one out. So let's do the uh, same drill on this. We we'll pull it apart, measure the the length. Reset it back up and we'll get it back in. Okay. Got this one done. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is right there. We're gonna get the idler arm because it's got a lot of slop in it too. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that off and put the new one on, which is somewhere. There it is, right there. So we're gonna go ahead and get that installed. Shouldn't take too long. There you go. There's the new idler arm. All nice and snug and tight in there. And there is the bad one. It was pretty bad. I know, I know. <laughs> well, it's all done now, so. All right, that's it. Okay guys, so got the, uh, all the steering linkage has been replaced. It didn't take as long as I thought it would, but I'm glad for that. Everything went pretty smooth. Now, my hope is, because I measured everything out really good, that uh, my alignment is good. <laughs> if not, I guess I'll be either trying to figure out how to do an alignment myself or just bring it in real quick before I go on the trip. Either way, uh, I'm gonna get cleaned up and uh, I got to bring back the uh, AC uh, charging tools to AutoZone and give this thing a good shakedown. So I will uh, I will catch you guys here in just a bit. Uh, we're not done just yet, okay? Well, there she is. Uh, <laughs> test drive went really good. Steer's good. Brake's good. So here's uh, here's the recap of what we've done. So shocks all the way around. Got that done. Uh, cap, rotor wires, plugs, um, air filter, just general tune-up stuff. Got that done. Um, com AC compressor swapped out. New alternator. Check. Um, recharged the system. AC worked just fine. And steering. Has a little bit of slop in it, just right in the, right at that back and forth just at the top end you know right at, right where at zero i guess you call it uh so i'm gonna have to get back on right there and see what's there's something else in there that i didn't catch um but huge improvement i got i got good control over the the truck again so um it's probably going to be fine for the trip i'll come back and then i'll figure out what that last thing is unless i have some time between now and the time i leave anyways i spared you the pressure washing video uh thought i'd just show you what it looked like afterwards you guys have seen this thing several times now so you know this thing was nasty it's uh, looked like it's been sitting in the trees for years kind of has uh i don't really ever wash this thing but uh every once in a while every couple of years or so i throw a pressure washer on and i get it cleaned up but look at that looks like a pretty darn new good good looking truck now Okay, so we're working on my daughter's car right now for the trip. And, uh, yeah, well, it hasn't, uh, it hasn't gone sp sparkly yet. We're, we're still struggling. So these hoses, uh, I had to pull the battery, the computer, the battery tray, all that all had to come out so just so I could get to the hose. So you can see here, I got... The new hose in i got it open right here because i'm going to flush the system and then if you look down here you see right there's the new hose i just we got that in that's all connected but in order to get that we had to pull the alternator and then when we had to pull the alternator we had to get this connector 
to separate and the connector wires like that long you couldn't move it out you couldn't get to it and uh if you look there you can see the wires broke and i don't know if you'll be able to see it but uh, right right there is the other end of that wire see how short it is you couldn't pull the alternator out at all and you can't get to it and it ended up breaking so yeah that's that's not what you want to see when you're trying to make getting ready to make a nearly 3,000 mile trip with it anyway we uh we found one of these in uh o'reilly's and it'll be in the morning so we're going to grab that in the morning splice that into that wire so we can get the alternator back in uh, but we got the oil change done uh she had her you know again you know we're trying to make this trip and her all her abs lights and her um traction control lights came on so we're pulling her sensors out of here just cleaning them and making sure that that's not the problem so i'm going to do that on the other side but other than that i mean we got the oil change done we've done a lot to this already up leading up to this point so i think we're okay um and uh you know we just got to tighten up these few things and then we'll we'll be ready to get on the road oh yes yes she wants me to point out that while we were trying to get the alternator out, we broke the overflow on the uh, for the uh, coolant system. So, <laughs> yep, you know this is we haven't even left yet. <laughs> we're we're hoping that we're we're getting it all out of our system now, and so when we hit the road, we don't have any issues. So, I mean, really, the biggest thing that's hurting us right now is this this here. We can't, you know, you, we got to have this on the alternator. So, uh, that's, yeah, that's the only thing hurting us really bad. This doesn't really kill us at all. The ABS thing doesn't really hurt us. Uh, but not being able to get that alternator hooked back up, that's a showstopper. So we're going to work on that pretty diligently until we get that done. So hopefully sometime tomorrow morning we'll have this all tightened up. All right, we'll show you when I got it. Well, let me get you up to speed. So I don't know if I can get it here where you can see it, but you can see right there. I got the wire spliced in, so we got that. Push that back out of my way. Got the alternator back in. I got the top two bolts on. But here's the deal with this thing. You look down here, there's no tensioner pulley or anything like that to loosen the belt. So I gotta stretch it somehow around the this pulley right here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is get all the other ones on, try and get that one as far as I can, and then hopefully I can, I can get underneath there with a socket and, and rotate the engine enough to bring it all the way around and, and, and get it on. So, stupid system. Mm -mm -mm. So hopefully that works. So let me get at it and I'll, I'll let you know how it goes. Well, there you go. Alternator's back in, we got it running. Getting some juice in her. We'll, as it starts to cycle, we'll add more. And over here, Let's see. Let's see what we got. 14. Right on where we want it, charging. All right, we got we got it. It it, it was a winding path that took us here, but we got it. All right, so I think we're good on this one. We've, uh, we've done a lot already to this car, you know, uh, several weeks ago. This was just the last bit. We wanted to, to go through it. We wanted to make sure that we had good, good fluids. We're, so we've done all that. We got some new uh, radiator hoses on, which, you know, made the big mess that we got in. But we got out of it. All right, guys. Uh, we're... Uh, you can see I'm stuffing the back of my truck. We're starting to get ready for the, 
the big haul. All right, so we got this, uh, all this fairly well wrapped up. I still got an old change to do on my truck and we gotta just finish getting things wrapped up in there, uh, you know, protected from the weather and things like that. So uh, we'll do all that tomorrow. And then we're just a few days away from uh, making the trip. And once I get on the road, I'll bring you guys in every so often, let you see it. But there's Morgan. So this is, it's all about her right now. This is what this is all happening for. So what's going on? Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to Oregon. Morgan on the Oregon Trail. Here. Morgan on the Oregon Trail. All right, so you're you're going where for what? Oregon State. Get Oregon a PhD. State PhD in math. She's way smarter than me. <laughs> way smarter than me. All right, on some things. Yes. <laughs> One thing. All right, so we're gonna miss her. She'll be gone for a while, but that's all right. She's got to do this, so. Uh, hopefully we have a good smooth trip. That's what we're hoping on. We did a lot of work to try and make that happen. So, bye. <laughs> well, I think I've got just about everything wrapped up uh, on my truck and my daughter's car. I'm packed up. Uh, everything looks pretty good. I can't complain. Uh, you know, we ran into some snags along the way trying to get these things going. But, you know, we, uh, we got lucky on a few things. Uh, you know, my daughter's car, the coolant return line broke and apparently the way these new cars work, that's a circulating, circulating system. So it just pumping water right out of there. So we had to, we had to find one. We, uh, we searched everywhere and we found one. We got really lucky on that. And that, that was so brittle. You could just, you could just barely move it and it just breaks. So. We got really fortunate, so that system's working and functioning back the way it's supposed to. So it's it's been a chore, I'll tell you that. Um, but we're ready. So here's how this works. My daughter will leave uh, on this Saturday. Um, I will leave tomorrow morning. I'm headed to go to work, uh, so I'll be in Savannah. I'll be hanging out there for the weekend. And then I am leaving Sunday night from Savannah and headed to the uh, to the West Coast. So I will literally go from coast to coast. Uh, before I leave, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to the Atlantic, put my foot in the water, and then when I get to the Pacific, I'm gonna do the same thing. So it'll be kind of cool. Anyway, that's it. We're gonna wrap up this, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna get this show on the road. So I'll bring you guys in. You know, we'll start, I'll just start another video for that and we'll just bring you guys in, you know, on any, any uh, updates or anything cool happening or anything bad happening because you guys like that. I know you guys do. All right. See, all packed up with her stuff. That's not it. She's, she's coming with a few more things. There's a little extra room. So she's like, can we get more in there? <laughs> Anyways. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Talk to you on the next one. Bye.